Hey guys, Sam here, welcoming you to a bit of a different video that I am doing with two fabulous guests and pretty much what we're going to be trying to do today is figuring out who is the best FIFA 15 centre back in career mode and pretty much what we've done is got up a bracket of 8 players that we've all put in there and we've seeded them from the highest overall to the lowest overall and we'll be matching them up in a debate and we're going to be seeing who is going to get to the final. We also did a goalkeeper one on the B Minus's channel, and we're going to do a fullback one on T Rai all day. So you guys have met B Minus. Introduce yourself, buddy. Hey, what's up, guys? B Minus Gamer here. And today we have a second guest, T Rai all day. What's up, guys? Steve all day here. And we're gonna get this thing ready. If you guys are also ready. My body is ready. I am ready. So the first matchup is number one seed Hummels versus the lowest rated player. Lascelles, and it's going to be you two debating, so whoever wants to go first. We're, we're going to go number one seed, Hummels. Go first. B minus. 86 rated, 88 potential. potential. Come on. Is that it? Yeah, that's, that's all I that's need that's to it. say. <laughs> his name is Matt Hummels. <laughs> <laughs> Up okay, against well. freaking, what, what's his name? Lascelles? Lascelles, come on, man. Lascelles. Jamal Lasella, 67 rated right now, he's affordable in pretty much every single career mode, has potential of 79, which you can definitely outgrow if you play him enough, especially if you're doing like a Road to Glory type career mode, if you sign him in like League 1 or League 2, you'll definitely be able to grow him out a bit, and he's pretty pacey, which everyone definitely loves in their center backs, so he wins. All right. I, I wrote down my vote before you guys even started talking. Oh, so I was about I to I was about to argue a little bit more, but okay. Oh, if you want, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was about to say uh, 91 heading accuracy, 6'4", uh, 90 interceptions, 90 stand tackle, 86 strength. He's got decent pace. He's that's the one thing that uh, Jamal has on him is uh, he's only got 67 pace, but. Pretty good, pretty good. Sometimes you don't want too fast of a center back because often more than not. Well, he's can... not that fast. Oh, okay. He's, he's he's pretty decent pace, but when he grows to his full potential, he'll be, you know, smart and pacey. So, but what do you want? Leadership. Uh, hey, long he's tackle the trait. Playmaker he's the captain trait, of my team. Aerial threat, <laughs> tackling, tactician, strength. He is the captain in my full crew mode. So, is Jamal is Jamal injury prone? Uh Well, Hummels is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, definitely want to buy him. Three, two, one. Hummels. <laughs> Lascelles. I've also gone with Lascelles. Oh, uh, yes! You <laughs> <Dude>, did! <laughs> <laughs> because I've actually used him before in a career mode, and the dude was a beast. Very Rio <laughs> Ferdinand-like, like back in his day. Like, pacey, tall, just a great defender, and yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, Hummels. Sorry. This is, this is better. This is disgusting. <laughs> My Number one seed already knocked out. <laughs> Boom! Upset. Yeah, I told you. I wrote it down before How you even you said do anything. like the Sam? <laughs> <laughs> well, you get to debate me in the next matchup. Oh, I will. It's Smalling versus Umtitis, <laughs> who I actually used in my Sunderland career mode, so this is a bit of a sentimental one for me as well. But I'm going to go first with Smalling. Okay. Um, I'm pretty much going to just lay it out for you. He is probably the best center back in career mode because he's pacey, tall, and he is honestly just a brick in defense. If you can play with him for a couple seasons, you can even sign him. He's affordable as well. And he's just got all-around great stats for a center back. He's good in the air. He's good on the ground. He can slide. He can stand tackle. Everything, pace, strength, everything you need in a center back, all wrapped up in one brilliant Manchester United center back. And yeah, you get to argue for Umtiti. His name is Umtitis. Like, why would you not want to have that guy on your team? Also, he has extremely well-rounded stats, um, way better pace than Chris Smalling. He's pretty much a beast. I've actually never used him in a career mode. The reason why I'm putting him on is because of the two times that I have played him. He's a fucking animal. He is everywhere. Like, every single time I was like, oh, I have an opening. I can go ahead, take a shot. Flies in, out of the frame, goes ahead and knocks it off any body part that he can. Even his arm, because that shit doesn't actually do anything in FIFA. But he's basically, he's a one-man wrecking crew in that center back position. And his name is Umtitis. For the record, just for the record. Just for the record, Smalling has better sprint speed. I'm just putting that out. Oh. <laughs> and better defensive stats. So, Shut up. Yeah. He's faster than 77? He's got 78 Oh, there you speed. go. But he has uh, Umtiti's... And better, better, better defending stats. But yeah, is his name Umtiti? 
Let, let's vote, let's vote. Okay. I, know, I know I'm gonna lose, but let's vote. Three, two, one. Um, titi. Yeah, I put swallowing. I wrote um, oh. dot, 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 and then I drew a pair of boobs. <laughs> I was so tempted to do that. I went there, because we are the master debators. Again, it's Varan versus Rudiger. Very interesting tie-up. I'm gonna let uh, the higher-rated player go. So that's you, B minus. Rafael Varane, already 81 rated, is has a potential of 88. Uh, he's 6'3", he's got great height, he's got great pace. Once he fully develops, I think he's one of the best, most well-rounded center backs that you can definitely buy in the game. If you go ahead and take a look at his stats, already 81 sprint speed, 79 acceleration, 84 sand tackle, and 83 uh, slide tackling, 80 marking, 85 in interceptions in 80 strength and 84 heading accuracy. Doesn't possess any any traits really, but he does possess a three-star weak foot, which is always nifty uh, when you need to pass it out of the back. And uh, yeah, he's just everything that you need and when fully developed, I don't know if there is a better center back prospect. Rudiger also has a three-star weak foot, so let me just throw that right out. He's also six foot three, 187 pounds. He has 83 sprint speed and 76 acceleration right now, and he's only 74 rated. Has a potential of 83, so you can only imagine how fast he'll be when he hits that. He also has 81 strength right now, and his defending is mid 70s right now, and it will be better once he hits that potential, of course. And he is a lot more affordable straight away. If you're starting a career mode right away with a team that's doesn't have the highest of budgets, but you need a center back, he is definitely a lot more affordable than Rafael Veron. So I'd definitely go with him. Like every single day of the week. I would debate that because I've used both Ruger and Veron, and Veron's not that much. If you don't inquire about him, I feel like Veron's not that much more because Ruger I had to spend around I think around ten, and Veron you can get around twelve. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've written like I wrote down Veron initially, then I wrote down Ruger, and I don't know which one to pick. Ooh, Veron, Ruger. Okay, so it is a tiebreaker, and I'm gonna go for. Varan. I'm gonna go Varan. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be uh, mad I wouldn't be mad if you went Rudiger. I, I really like Rudiger a lot actually. That that was probably one of the toughest ones I've had to do. No, yeah, Varan's very good, but Rudiger's my boy. Yeah. Rudiger the way that I describe Rudiger is Rudiger is Boateng Light. Essentially. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is essentially what he yeah. is. Alright, and the last matchup is probably in my opinion the most interesting. It's Nkalu versus Fabian Shah. Or share, whatever you pronounce it. Alright, so Nicholas and Kulu. I've brought up the real life face thing in a previous video that we did on B Minus's channel, and he has a real life face in game. He is very pacey, he has uh, pretty decent uh, defending stats already, and has a potential of 82 overall with a 79 rating already, which is a pretty decent. Uh, I guess potential for someone that rated. His defending right now has 81 stand tackling, 82 jumping, 81 interceptions, which is pretty good for, you know, a player that could possibly be in a top five side right away, possibly be kind of a, I guess, a substitute type player, rotation type center back, and I think he's very good, so I'd definitely go with him. For Fabian Shah, okay, you're talking about pace with him, Clue, that's fair enough. The only difference between the pace is one less acceleration on Fabian Shah, they have the exact same sprint speed, 79. I'm going to look at the stats above 80. Fabian Shah has seven stats above 80, including headering accuracy, long passing, so you can play it out if you want. Shot power, so if you want to have a dink, you can. He's got jumping, stamina, and strength all above. He's got 91 strength. 91. He's bullying anybody off the ball. And he can even take penalties. 81 penalties. Can include take a penalty if I'm at a penalty kick out? No. He's got 49 penalties. Well, I mean, he um, he just would miss. Nah, nah, he just, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> With one, you know, more potential as well, I think Fabian Shah is just, he's very, very popular, but for a good reason, he's hes just an absolute tank. I'm gonna, you know, Fabian Shah. Three, two, one. Shah. 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 Oh, wow, <laughs> wow, okay. You all went Shah? Yeah, it's, yeah. the reason why I went him, I mean, that you guys didn't even mention, he's the number one pre-contract that everybody fucking signs. In that first yeah, January window. True. If I remember correctly, Nkulu used to be able to pre-sign too, so that I thought yeah. was very interesting. Yeah. But I think he has a new contract now, so he can't do it anymore. Um, mm -hmm. No, no, he's still... You can? Still you can get him in that first so. January window? Uh, the other thing I think was the ultimate deciding factor was uh, Shar's just a little bit better. He's a little bit taller. 6'1 is vital, while Nkulu is only 5'11". Uh, and he's yeah. got a four-star weak foot. So I think those were the, the big deciding factors. All right, so in the semi-finals, the first matchup is 
the lowest rated player, Lascelles, versus Umtiti's, who beat Chris Smalling, unfortunately, and unfairly, in my opinion, but... <laughs> Let's just move forward. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let T. Ryle they go first with the lowest rate to play knocking out Hummels. It's Lascelles. Well, I mean, this one's tough for me because I love Titties and I love Umtiti, so that one's tough. I also love Lascelles, obviously, but I think if you look at it from, I guess, a career mode standpoint, like I said before, in a Road to Glory save, you'll have much more money to be able to afford Lascelles compared to Umtiti. But if you're a bigger team, I guess maybe maybe it's just kind of a, I guess. A 50-50 and whether or not you'd want to go for them. So I'm not even sure who I want to vote for personally. Uh, but Lascelles, he's very good, very pacey, decent potential. So you definitely can't go wrong with him. What I'm going to argue against is why you shouldn't go Lascelles. And it's just, his, basically his overall is never going to be as high as on titties. And while he is very pacey, he's got great physical stats, his positioning is not always on point. And there's the thing, in dire situations in in championship moments in in when you need someone the most and you cannot give up a goal there are going to be times 99 you know 99 percent of the time probably lacelles is going to bail you out in that situation but that one out of 100 he's gonna mess up like it's just when their mental attributes are that low they just screw up sometimes and if you want that type of player on your team and uh as for why you should vote for um titties well i'm just going to show you a picture Oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Argument close. Was it a was it a picture of titties? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Um, titties. I like titties. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've gone um titty. Was that all three? Yeah. Yeah, that was that all was three. Sweet. Why did you go um titty? Yeah, I would pick Smalling over Lascelles, and Smalling lost. <laughs> Let um, it titty. go. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is like to boost um titty's argument. Okay, like I okay. pick Smalling over him, and if um titty beat Smalling, then he'd have to beat Lascelles. Okay. Um, just yeah, all, all round um titty is just like just incredible, especially when he hits his you know potentially. You can get him way higher than eighty three, and yeah, he's just he's just a tank. He just is. I could not not vote him. And the other semi-final is Raphael Varane versus Fabian Scher. And I'm gonna let you go first. High rated player, Varane, number two seeded. All you B minus, all you. Alright, this one is gonna be tough because I as I said before, I really do like Fabian Schar or Scher. Uh, he's got a lot of amazing stats if you can go ahead and take a look at him. But the thing about him is his defending stats, not the best, at least right away. Yes, he does have a nice potential of 83, but you got to think Rafael Varane, potential of 88. And let's go ahead and check out the main weakness, the low, one of the lowest stats on Fabian Schardt that's crucial, 68 marking. My same argument that I had against Jamal Laceus is going to apply to Fabian Schardt. Yeah, most of the time he's going to be in the right position, but every once in a while he's going to lose his man in a crucial, crucial time. Freaking Rafael Varane, 88 potential. His markings are ready over 80 at the start of the game. The man is going to be where you need him every single time, and he's going to make that crucial, crucial tackle and that crucial header out every single time. He's just a solid rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson back in that back line, and he's going to be a world-class center back for you. First thing I'm going to point out with Fabian Schaar is his four-star weak foot. Um, he's always going to be composed on the ball because it doesn't matter which way he's facing or where he's passing it. He's going to be able to use both feet. He's, he'll be comfortable on his left as well as his right. And with that long passing, I feel like he can get it out of the box a, a bit easier than Rafael Varane, and he could maybe not mess it up as badly as Rafael Varane. So that's really my main argument. Along with the strength, Fabian Schaar's strength, he'll be able to bully people a lot easier than Rafael Varane. 11 higher strength, you know. And with the pace, he can catch up quite easily. Um, of course, he's got a lot of growing to do. Um, and, you know, you can get him over 83, you know, the potential is just sort of an average number. And I feel like, you know, in set pieces, he, he'd be better as well. He's got great jumping and headering accuracy. So, for me, Varane on both ends uh, is just a bit weaker, especially at the initial rating. I'd actually take Fabian Shah at their initial ratings. Um, so, yeah, I have to vote for Fabian Shah because he's got better strength. And I think he's just a beast all around. Quick, quick rebuttal on uh, the passing uh, stats for Varane. He has 74 long passing and 73 short passing. 
as well as the three star weak foot. So not that not that far behind. Not that far behind Shark. 83 long passing. Yeah. I'm just saying he can get the job done. Obviously, you don't yeah. want your center back okay. that far up the field, but I'm just saying he can get the job. Done. I'm gonna say I changed my mind on this one. So three, two, one. I've gone Shaw. Veron. Yeah. Veron. Ooh. <sighs> Why did you go for You changed your mind, which means you voted with me. I I did vote for Fabian Schar originally, but I think a lot of the points that B- minus was making kind of just threw me into his direction. And frankly, I said it before, real life faces, players with real life faces in game tend to play a lot better for me. And Rafael Veron obviously has one as a higher potential as well. So mm -hmm. I think I think he'll be better. Get master debater, <laughs> Sam. You know what? I actually. I did vote for Shah, but I do agree that Varan is better. The only reason I did it was because I thought Tyler was going to vote with me. The the one thing... <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to lose it. But yeah, the, the one thing I would have pointed out if I was you was high attacking work rate for Fabian Shah. Way out of position a lot of times. Ah, so he really yeah. does need a, like a really good centre-back partner or needs to play in a back three. That's the one thing I would have pointed out. High attacking work rate, not not the best for a centre-back. And right back at you, I would have pointed out that Char, you can get on a free. So you can go ahead, argue the yeah, I'm surprised no yeah, one made economy that. thing is that like, you can yeah. get a player that's comparable to Veron, but absolutely free. That frees up 12 mil that you can be putting somewhere else. So there yeah. you go. That one's a toughie. That one was a toughie, though. That was, yeah, that was a good battle. Um, so we're up to the final. Two French men. Two B-minus picks. It's Varane <laughs> versus Umtiti. I'm going to let Tyler take Umtiti because he's a Leon fan. I'm going to let B-minus take Varane. I'm just going to sit back and let them go at it. And I'm going to go Varane first. High rated player first. Go on, B-minus. Um, he's one of your picks. You're going to win either way. You're going to win either way, so go. <laughs> There you go. Um, I, I would say I, I just said everything that I need to say about him, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at um, Titty right now and try to criticize him. Starts out at E77, so he does have to grow a little bit. And uh, I'm going to use this argument. Thank you for pointing this out. He's got high medium work rates. But does that mean he has high attacking work rate? Yeah, high attack work on. rate. Oh, there you go. Out of, out of position. Thank you, Sam, for that. <laughs> <laughs> out of position a lot. And in short passing, not as good. Well, there's one thing I'm going to point out. He is versatile. He can play in pretty much every position you want him to. He can play left back, center back, and I'd even throw him in at CDM with some of his stats. He has 82 shot power, 86 jumping, 83 stamina, meaning he can go up and down the pitch all game. 81 interceptions, 77 aggression, and with that high attacking work rate, I think he could sue a CDM position or maybe fit in a three-back formation as a center back if that's what you want to play. And frankly, he has the name Umtiti, so you know he's better than Veron already. Yeah, B yep. minus. Hold on. Hold on. He's drawing a pair of titties. <laughs> <laughs> the best center back in career mode in FIFA 15 is Rafael Veron. Uh... But I did draw four on titties. I did draw a pair of boobs underneath Varane. <laughs> so Varane is the winner. B minus had both men in the final. That's incredible. That really. You know is. how to pick them. You know how to pick them, guys. That's all I can say. All you know how to say. pick your titties. Yeah. It's a good life skill to have. <laughs> and that's it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you check out the other ones on these guys' channel. We've got a goalkeeper and a fullback, and I'm sure we'll be doing all positions. Uh, eventually so yeah check them out see who won it and yeah if you ever need to you know take on your mate in a debate make sure you show them this video and show them that Varane is actually the best center back in career mode if you did enjoy make sure you leave a like as I said check out these guys channels in the links of course in the description as always and check out the videos that we did with them anything you guys want to say before we leave it uh, Tyler you can go first uh, hashtag team babyface hashtag mass tour debaters <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, if you guys are here from, from my channel, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe. Guardy's incredible. Uh, he's He's got a baby face. He's everything that you want in, in your Lord Commander. And uh, if you're new to, to me, go ahead, check me out. Be minus. Uh, just look up Pokemon Crew Mode, uh, hence the hat. All right, guys. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next video very soon. Bye. Keep it real. Bye.